Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to change the brake fluid in a Harley Davidson Street Bob, or in any case on any motorcycle. Really easy to do. I mean the brake fluid cost me I think about $14, so it's not an expensive job and a lot better doing it at home. Uh, it gives you a sense of purpose doing your own servicing, maintenance on your own motorcycle, instead of having to take it into the shop. All right, we'll change the uh, brake fluid, bleed the brakes, and we'll show you how to do it. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. Now we're going to do the back brake. It's going to be this, just do the same for the front. But let's do the back brake. It's easy for me to film and, and show you what's going on. So here is the brake bleed valve. It's a 5 16th. So you need a 5 16th wrench. Pop that on first. Make sure you've got uh, good leverage because we've got to crack it open and close many times. Now we need a thin tube. This is about three and a half mil and a bottle, of course. Oh, my wine's empty. You'll have to get another one. Something heavy so it's not going to fall over and make a mess in the garage. So force this tube onto here, like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. Step one done. Step two, taking the um, brake reservoir top off let me just get in there a bit closer if i can right take the top off make sure you've got a very clean rag nearby to put the uh the cap on and also the diaphragm we do not want to get muck in that so undo the two screws carefully take the top off And there's this diaphragm I'm talking about. So just pull that away from there. So there it is. So it's quite a clever bit of kit. So what happens when you pump the brake, obviously it creates a vacuum, and this pops out like that to keep pressure on the brake for a fluid going down through the tube. So just check there hasn't got any splits or anything funny going on. It looks really great. Place it that way up on the cloth. Keep it nice and clean. Right, I don't know if you can see that. That brake fluid's pretty brown and yuck. It's not good at all. They do get moisture in them over time. It just sneaks in. So what we're going to do, instead of pumping all that dirty stuff through the system, I'm going to soak it up with some paper towels or what have you and then start pumping the clean stuff through. So I'll just put a towel down there. So very carefully, very carefully, just start poking that paper towel in there and letting it soak up. Right, we've got the majority of it out. Just checking there you haven't dropped any paper towel in there or fragments. Looks good. Okay, so now we're going to top it up with new brake fluid. Remember the colour of it that was before. Okay, so I've topped that up. Now it's a two hand job. What I'm going to do is put pressure on the back brake like this. And as I put pressure down, I'm going to crack the valve at the back and allow the brake fluid to come through into the bottle. Now, whatever you do, once this brake goes all the way down, you have to shut the valve off. You don't want to release it, and then it'll suck back the old stuff plus air bubbles. So I'll put the camera down here to show this end while I'm pumping the brake. Okay, so I've got my hand on that. Right. Pressure on the brake, crack it. Now the brake went all the way down. So now I shut it, release the brake, Put pressure on the brake, crack it again. Shut it, release the brake, pressure, crack it again. You can see the fluid coming through. Turn it off, pressure on the brake. Turn it off, pressure on the brake. Turning it off while I've got the brake down full. 
So we'll just go through that until we're nearly empty the complete reservoir, top it up one more time, empty that, and then top it up for a last time, and we're done. But I'll just show you here. All right, pressure. Now this system, do it correctly and don't release that while you've got it open, is going to get rid of any air bubbles, bleeding the brakes. Okay, we're getting pretty empty there, so we'll top it up a little bit more. We'll do about another four or five. Pressure, crack, close, release. Pressure, crack. Close, release. It's pretty good. I think we can top it up for good now. Look at the difference in colour. If you remember what it first was, I'll put a picture up. So much different. It's incredible. It's all sealed, but yet gets moisture and goes brown. It just doesn't work properly. Okay, all done. Nice and simple. Let's put the diaphragm back on. It only goes on one way. Carefully pop that down. Put the cap on. Just nip the first one up to get it even. Nip that up and tighten it down. Well, there we go. Done. And look how clear it is. Well, there you go. All done. Nice and easy. Really simple to do. Great to do these jobs at home, service and maintenance on your own motorcycle. Brake fluid, done and dusted. Now I did check in the manual and you're supposed to check it every service and replace it every two years. So I'm a bit three years overdue, but hey, it's done and you did notice the color. Wow, what a difference. I went for a quick ride afterwards and I did notice a difference in the brake, a notable difference in the brakes. They worked a lot better. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching Kiri Grand Tours. Brake fluid change. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and we'll talk soon.